Hey, I'm Tomer and I'm the product manager for Applico UX at Applico. On this short video, I'm going to show you the advanced options of the table widget in Applico UX. Let's dig in. The table widget in Applico UX supports many native planning analytics and Team 1 functionalities fully out of the box in a rich web interface environment and offers an Excel-like user experience. Let's have a look at a few examples. So first of all, you can drill up and down in a dimension to any level in the hierarchy. You can use the arrows keyboard keys to navigate within the table and of course, right back to TM1 on cells which are open for input. You can notice that as soon as I leave the cell, all the related consolidated cells will be automatically refreshed. You can use standard copy paste functionality to gain more efficiency while planning. So I can even select a range of cells from Excel paste them back into the application and have my result updated. You can sort by any column, ascending, descending, or revert back to the original state. And you can also apply conditional formatting based on a certain criteria or simply to an entire row or a column. You can also filter the table using the search and adjust each one of the column width individually or all together. Let's have a look at a few more features that makes the table widget even more powerful. You can use any attribute on any dimension to group columns together on a separate headers line. So for instance, if I'll change July till September to Q3 on the group, attribute and refresh the dashboard, it will already be reflected. You can use a different attribute to apply the corporate identity style. So in this example, on the version dimension, using the color attribute, we can color the actual with black, budget with blue, last year with gray, and we even have a variant chart and percentage variant chart driven by those attributes as well. So for instance, I can change the budget as last year value to be green, refresh the table, and now it will be colored in green. And at the same time, I can apply a variant chart to it by applying the var value refresh the table and this will now be a variant chart which obviously makes analysis much easier. We offer cell commentary on any cell and track the history from all the users so immediately you can see all the cells which were commented in the past are flagged in the red triangle. If I want to access the comments, I can do that using the context menu, clicking on the comments. And of course, I can create comments on the fly. I can use the buttons to create rich text editor to even have more impact on the commentary. And the moment I passed, it will be saved with the user and the timestamp. If Team 1 drill has been implemented on the cube, it will also be directly reflected in the front end. And using the context menu, I will be open, I'll be able to access the drill that will open up in a new window, showing me the phasing for the months on the department dimension. We already saw that the table widget supports 
numbers and string format, but it also offers a few more. So if a pick list has been applied in team one, it will immediately be reflected in the front end. We can also offer a checkbox that will write zeros and one to the respected cell in team one, and even a dropdown for a date picker. So I can change even the years and the months from those drop downs and pick a date. And that was an overview of the advanced options of the table widget in Applico UX. Follow the links for more Applico UX videos. If you enjoyed what you saw, tell us what you think in the comments box below and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out our newest content. Thanks and see you on the next one.